Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to you all about Shopify and how you can create a very organized navigational menu by utilizing products and collections. So I know that was a mouthful, but that's what we're going to get into today. Uh, somebody needs some help with their website. And so I thought I would just make a quick video to go through products, collections, navigation, that way you can get your shop organized and make your website so much easier to go through when people are shopping. With that being said, I'm going to hop over to my computer screen and we will get started. Okay, so I have my website up here and you can see at the top I have all of my menu items based off of categories. So stud earrings, dangle earrings, gifts and decor, trucker hats, hair clips, and digital files. So if you go to stud earrings, you can see that there are earring sets, seasons, holidays, and things of that nature. So it's really important to remember that you want some sort of mega menu capability with your navigation so that you can separate things into different categories. That way people aren't searching all over the place. You don't want to have a hundred different variations of a product and then just have them in one landing page because then people are going to have to sort through a hundred products. If they're just looking for Christmas items, separate the holidays out. If they're just looking for seasonal items, separate the seasons out. If they're just looking for, you know, maybe animal related things because their friend likes tigers, separate out the animals. It will definitely help. People can use the search bar, but it's a lot easier if they can just click, click, click and get what they need. All right. So if you were to go to stud earrings and go to holidays, you could click on Christmas and all of the Christmas stud earrings are going to pop up on my website. Similarly with the trucker hats, if you go to, uh, let's just say occupation, you can click on that and you can see some uh, occupation related hats. To do that, what you want to start with on your shop is your collection. So I always start with a base number of collections and then I can go ahead and start uploading my products based off of those collections. So for example, with the trucker hats, I started off with a handful of collections, added products to those collections, and then began to build my navigation. And that is gonna be the quickest thing and the quickest way for you to achieve success on these Shopify websites. And it is really simple once you get the process now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a test collection and then we'll do two test products because I'll show you how I create one and then how I duplicate one. And then I will go through how to add that into your menu navigation and we'll see all of that live time on my website. So let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> so starting with collections, you can see I probably have about 100 different collections here. And some of them are in the navigation of my website and some are not just because they are not full. You can see I have all products in total, 499 products. So basically this just says the product vendor is equal to me and the product type is not equal to laser file. So all of my physical products are under an all products collection. And then I have several different other collections that we can use. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on create a collection. Here you wanna ensure you're putting in a title for this one. We're just gonna do test collection for video. And you can put your description in here. I'll go through at the very end what I use to streamline my description process. And you wanna make sure that this is an automated collection type. What I recommend for conditions is you have all conditions selected. If you have any conditions selected, any condition that is met under here will pull into that collection. You do not want that. So for the product tag, we're gonna say that is equal to test. And then we're gonna add another condition and we're gonna to go to product type. And here it will show up all of your different product types. If you have products set up, if you do not, then this will auto populate in the future when you are creating products. So we're just gonna type in test product, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Keep in mind, if you click on edit here, you can edit your meta description for Google. And I do recommend doing that to make sure you have a keyword rich to make sure you have a keyword rich meta description in URL handle for whatever keyword you are trying to target. Click on save. You can see here, you can add this collection to your online store navigation. You need to update your menu. So we're gonna deal with that at the very end. For now, we have our collection created. Anytime anything is tagged with test and it is a test product, it will go into this product category. 
So now that you have that situated, you can go back and click on products. This is gonna list all of your products here. Obviously, we're gonna create a new one. So you just click on add product. And we're gonna write test product one for video. Test description, and again, I will show you all what I use for my descriptions when I'm done. You wanna go ahead and upload a photo of, so of sort. So I'm just gonna upload this basic photo. You wanna put a price in here. You can put a compare at price in if this is on sale. Tax charging, cost per item. This is something that the customer will not see, but this will give you your profit margin based off of what you are charging and what it costs to um, create. You can or cannot track your quantity. I personally do not do this because I do everything on demand. But if you do track your quantity, you would just put how many you have on hand. You can continue selling when they're out of, out of stock. And if you have an, a SKU or a stock keeping unit or a barcode, you can go ahead and, and put that in there by just putting that information in. I don't deal with all that and I don't track quantity. So if it's a physical product, which is what we deal with, you wanna go ahead and put that in there. And for typical hats, we do about four ounces or 0.25 pounds. Here you can also add in your different variants. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few colors in here. I'm gonna do black, heather, gray, if I can spell, and white, and steel, blue, and silver. And you can see each one of the variants here. And then of course your search engine optimization, which you want to add in. You wanna make sure that your meta description and your URL slug are going to be keyword rich for whatever keyword that you are targeting, okay? We're gonna go ahead and come up here. I'm gonna put in a hat for the product category, even though this is generally auto-populated. For the product type, we're just gonna do test product, okay? Like we have right here, product type is test product. This is not gonna pop out because we do not have that up yet on the website. We're gonna do myself as the vendor. Collections, you won't put anything in, and then we're just gonna do test in there, okay? I'm also going to add in the hat colors that we chose because I need to show y'all what it looks like when we duplicate. So we have the heather gray and white. We also have the steel blue and silver and we have the black. So let's go ahead and open those up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that the variants have the appropriate hat color associated with it. And this is really important when you're selling on places like TikTok shop, because if you don't have all this information filled out, they will not approve your product for sale on the platform. All right, so now you can see that this is in the test collection for video and also in all products, okay? This is an auto collection where all of my products will dump into. And the reason being is because also in the test collection, it will pop up on the new arrivals on the website. So you can see here that here's the test product one for the video. Okay, next thing to do here is we're gonna fix this because that's gonna drive me crazy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that. And this is really important. You're gonna click on duplicate. You'll delete copy of. And we're just gonna type in two make sure that you are copying the images over and this is really important because this will ensure that when you copy or duplicate this listing that the variant images will also be moved over so you don't have to go click through like you did at the beginning one okay so this is especially useful when you are creating a lot of different products okay the nice thing about this is you would just have to change your product description okay delete this particular photo out, add a new photo in for your mock-up, change the price if need be, okay? And these will auto-populate in just a minute. Edit your SEO for this particular product. Make sure you add any relevant tags, keeping that test tag in there so it will hit that category. And when you click on save, it's gonna bump into that test collection and your variant should be pre-populated. If for some reason the variants are not pre-populated, just click on refresh and they will show up eventually. Sometimes it takes Shopify a few minutes to catch up. All right, so we'll go ahead and push that to active. There's nothing else that we need to do here. Just click on save. 
And now when you go through to refresh the website, you can see these are both here, but you're not going to find them in any collections because I don't have any um, for you to go to. So this is where the navigation comes into play. You want to click on online store and go to navigation, go to your main menu, and we're going to go ahead and add a menu item. And I'm just going to type in test products. But what you want to do here is just type the pound sign in. This is going to make sure that your link at the top is non-clickable. Okay. So when you click on this, you can't, you're forced to go into the menu. All right. Click on save. I'll show you guys what this looks like. You can see test products right here. Nothing underneath it. Can't click on it. What we're going to do is we're going to add a menu item for test items. We're going to type in test. It's going to pop up with the two collections. You'll click on test collection for video, add, and you're just going to nest that underneath. Click on save. That's going to save that. Now when we refresh it, you'll see the test items underneath there and the two products that we created for this video. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Basically what you want to do is sit down and really think about what collections that you want to have for your particular website. So if you're selling hats, can you break those down into different categories? If you're selling earrings, can you break those down into different categories? If you're selling jewelry, maybe you just want to have jewelry and then have, you know, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, etc. If you're doing home decor, maybe you want to break that up into housewares, cutting boards, wall decor, and things of that nature. It, depending on your theme, you may be able to go deep levels down. I know some can do like two or three. So that's entirely dependent on what theme you're utilizing. But really, once you get those collections set up, you can start adding products and rapidly duplicate. If you're looking for a way to create really streamlined descriptions that are consistent, I just recommend using ChatGPT. It's very quick, seamless to use. If y'all are interested on how I create my descriptions through ChatGPT for Shopify, drop a comment in the comments box below. And I will get a video out on that. Take some time to watch this video through a few times. It is going to take a minute to sink in. If you need help, I am here to help. So just let me know. Drop a comment below, shoot me an email, get up with me on social media, whatever. I am very happy to help you guys out. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.